Hi, this is Gina LeClaire at Art of Skin Care. And this week in California, we are feeling the kiss of summer heat. You know, it's spring is just beginning, but in California, we're feeling that little bit of extra heat and the intensity of the sun already. And for me, it brings up excitement because I love summer, but it also brings up some dread. And the dread is because I suffer from hyperpigmentation. And those of you who also suffer from hyperpigmentation, you know that the summer months means that you're gonna be collecting more dark pigment. So with this little kiss of heat this week, it reminded me that I need to get my brightening essentials out and get started using them. So today's episode, we're gonna talk about the essential things that you need to protect your skin and maintain your skin and get as little hyperpigmentation as possible through the summer months. I have three products that are the essential backbone of my skincare protocol during the summer months. And I'm gonna show you those right now. So these are all three from Rhonda Allison. I absolutely love Rhonda Allison's brightening uh, line that she has created. They have a lot of really cutting edge ingredients that help to minimize hyperpigmentation. And so the first thing that I pull in my arsenal that's so important is a good cleanser. And so Skin Brightening Cleanser is the cleanser I pull out for the summer months. And then the Brightening Pigment Tonic. This is your toner. Brightening Pigment Tonic can be used after cleansing in the morning, but it also can be misted on the skin at any time of the day because if you've been out in the heat, uh, maybe you've been out for a walk or you've spent the afternoon in the sun, you can come home, spritz this on the skin, and it's really going to help minimize that production of hyperpigmentation. The next essential in your backbone products for treating hyperpigmentation is the brightening scrub from Rhonda Allison. This brightening scrub has a wonderful texture and it feels great on the skin and it really helps to lift up and manually exfoliates the skin as well as put some brighteners in the skin to really help lift off that daily accumulation of dead skin cells and dark pigmentation that you build up. So today I wanna to show you really quick how to use the brightening scrub because as an esthetician, I often don't recommend scrubs to my clients simply because most people tend to be too rough with them. They're too um, using too much pressure when they massage them into their skin and they end up breaking capillaries and making little rips and tears in the skin. So I wanna show you how a pro uses brightening scrub and any, basically any kind of scrub. So the first thing that I want you to do if you pick up brightening scrub is to use it on dry skin. So wash your face with your cleanser, use your toner, let it completely dry. Then you're gonna take the scrub on dry hands and you're gonna apply it to your skin dry. Goes on the skin dry. And now when I'm massaging it into my face, I'm not using my fingertips and grinding it down in. I'm using my fingers like a buffing pad. So I'm just gonna buff that over my face. I'm doing a buffing action gently buffing the scrub into my face my neck and my chest now once you've done that i want you to leave it on as if it's a mask leave it on your skin for five minutes or so until you can tell that all the tackiness is gone and it's completely dry that way your skin is absorbing all these wonderful nutrients that it needs to brighten it's going to absorb all those and then what you're going to do is get your hands wet and then massage it again and rinse and remove. Now scrubs can be very hard to remove and I hate using a scrub at the sink. And in the treatment room as an esthetician, I hated using scrubs in the treatment room because they're so hard to get off. So the best time to use your scrub is before you get in the shower. So do your routine, do your scrub, let it dry out completely, then jump in the shower and then use the water to again massage it and then rinse away all those little scrubby granules. So these are the three essentials of my brightening protocol. And these really set your skin up to receive the serums that we're gonna use next on our skin. Now hyperpigmentation is different for many people. There's different causes for different people. And so you cannot just use one serum that's good for everybody, one moisturizer that's good for everybody. You've got to customize it a bit. So today what I'm gonna to show you are my customized serum 
I call them my serum buddies. My serum buddies for brightening the skin through the summer months, and I'm gonna separate them out by the type of concern you have, the type of skin that you have. So the first group of people that I wanna start with are those of you that suffer with melasma. Melasma is a hormone-induced hyperpigmentation. It often begins when you're on birth control or while you're pregnant, and it can just be so hard to deal with. So melasma is triggered by heat, it's triggered by sun, it's triggered by stress, it's just really tricky. So the first serum that I like to use for those with melasma is from Rhonda Allison and it's her Vitabrite Elixir. Vitabrite Elixir is a vitamin C serum and we know vitamin C can be very brightening, but this serum also has some ingredients in it that are actually gonna inhibit and stop those hormones that release and cause the hyperpigmentation. So it's gonna go at your melasma at that hormonal level. The next product that I like to put on is Lemon Lightning Serum. So you're gonna put on your Vitabrite, allow it to dry, put on your Lemon Lightning Serum. This has those great antioxidants in it, great brighteners that are just gonna help you not to keep accumulating more hyperpigmentation day by day. Then on top of that, for my melasma ladies, you will love Luminous Wine Gel. Luminous Wine Gel also has ingredients in it that are going to stop that hormone reaction that creates the melanocytes and the hyperpigmentation. So these little three are your buddies if you have melasma. Now next up, I wanna talk about those of you who have acne or you're blemish prone. What are you gonna to use to help keep that hyperpigmentation at bay? So not only is your pigmentation gonna be stimulated by sun and heat, but it's also stimulated from having a blemish. And we call that PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. When you have a little wounded area from a blemish, it's gonna be more likely to get dark pigmentation when it's exposed to the sun because your body is trying to protect that wounded area. So for you, your brightening buddies, that I love to use, we're gonna go at it kind of two prong. We're gonna try and keep you from getting more blemishes and we're gonna try and brighten any dark pigment that you're picking up um, from free radicals and from the sun and daily damage. So the first thing that I like to put on for blemish prone skin is C2S Balancing Serum. This serum has vitamin C in it, strong dose of vitamin C, and it also has salicylic acid in it. So it's an incredible brightener, also really helps to clear the skin. On top of that, when that dries, you wanna put on Lemon Lightning Serum. This has your antioxidants in it, it has all kinds of ingredients gonna help to uh, mitigate dark pigmentation that you might accumulate through the day, as well as brighten any pigmentation, dark pigmentation that you have from the past. Love this stuff. So these are the two main things that you need if you are blemish prone, which you may also like to add to that is the illumination juice. This is a facial tonic from Farmhouse Fresh. This has a 24 hour release of peptides that actually brighten the skin. And it's a really wonderful light mist that you can just mist on your skin after you've done all of your other skincare products. So these are the three favorites for brightening for blemish prone skin. The next skin type that I wanna to talk to you about that gets hyperpigmentation is those that are sensitive or have dry skin. And so when you have sensitive skin, you know your skin is extra, extra reactive. And reactive skin means that you get red easily and then you also get hyperpigmentation easily. So we need to use the most gentle products that we have for you. My favorite serums, for sensitive skin or dry skin that is hyperpigmentation prone is Sorella's Pomegranate Acai Antioxidant Serum and the Lemon Lightning Serum together. So you'll put one on and then the other. Pomegranate Acai has the most advanced forms of vitamin C in it. It's, very, it's highly stable and it is very good for sensitive skin. It actually, these vitamin C's and this product actually even draw moisture to the skin and help hydrate the skin. So we're using this vitamin C brightener, wonderful antioxidants that help keep the free radical damage minimized and then layering that with lemon lightening serum. Fantastic for sensitive skin. Of course, you can also use the illumination juice 
from Farmhouse Fresh. This is a spritz. You can spritz it on any time of the day. And it has that 24 hour release of peptides that are also brightening peptides. Now the next skin type that I want to talk to you about is my own skin type. And that is those who are 45 and over and who are experiencing hyperpigmentation. First off, I want you to take a look at Emma Pell Serum. Emma Pell Serum is loaded with vitamin C, which is very brightening. It also has MEP in it, which is going to work on reversing collagen damage and increasing the amount of collagen that is produced in your skin. And it also has anti-aging peptides. Now what I do is I use Emma Pell Serum and then I use Lemon Lightning on top of it. This is my standard for summer care to help minimize the amount of dark pigmentation I'm gonna pick up over the summer months. Now, of course, with all of these routines, what I've shown you that I love is the Illumination Juice from Farmhouse Fresh. You give it a good shake. You can see it separates, so the yellow will be up here. So you just give it a good shake. It has a really wonderful mist. This releases, this has a 24 hour release of brightening peptides. So if you apply it to your skin, it's gonna to help to brighten throughout the day and help protect you from collecting more hyperpigmentation. And the mist is very fine and feels wonderful on the skin. And it smells really good too. It has like a light berry scent. So these are my essentials if you're 45 and over. The Emma Pell Serum, the Lemon Lightning Serum, and the Illumination Juice from Farmhouse Fresh. So those are my brightening essentials by skin type to get you through the summer if you struggle with hyperpigmentation. Now also keep in mind, if you're out in the sun, you need to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. My favorite way to do that is with Is Clinical. This is Is Clinical, it's the perfect tint powder SPF. It comes in different shades. This one's ivory. I also use beige in the summer months. It you, travels very well because it has a lid. You can bring it up and down. You can lock it so that it doesn't spill everywhere. And it's perfect to bring with you and touch up during the day. And I use it on the back of my hands because when I'm driving, I don't want those dark spots on the back of my hands. So this is just a really helpful product for those of you with hyperpigmentation to really help keep it to a minimum. It's all about keeping your pigmentation to a minimum through the summer months. Through the summer months, we're not going to do peels. We're not gonna try and lift it off because that will just aggravate the skin more and cause more damage. Through the summer months, we're just trying to mitigate it. We're trying to keep it to a minimum, knowing that we're gonna get some dark pigmentation. And then in the fall, we go to work on it and we do some light peels and we do some different things to remove that dark pigmentation and rebalance the skin. But if you're like me, you wanna get out, have a good time. So get out, enjoy yourselves this summer. Just add a few of these different products in, these different serums and my Backbone products. Just add those into your protocol just to keep that dark pigmentation to a minimum. Don't worry about it, don't stress about it. Use good products and then at the end of the summer, come back here and we'll go to work like we do every fall on removing the dark pigment that we've built up. So if you would like more information about hyperpigmentation in any of these products that I've used today, just head over to artofskincare.com, go over to our live chat and ask for the hyperpigmentation PDF. That PDF outlines the products I've used today and you can take a closer look at them. And of course, all my estheticians on live chat are there to help you and they can answer any questions and help you customize these products to be just right for your skin.